Now, what's believed is this image is a composite of an unidentified individual's face. Who is it? We actually don't really have any idea. And that's pretty much where the search currently is. Unfortunately, I don't have any answers to showcase here. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I didn't find it. And I'm pretty sure we all knew that I wasn't going to find it. And if I'm being honest, it may never find a resolution. So again, this is a piece of lost media that as the months flow by, as the years roll on, it is literally going to be lost to time. Jeff the Killer will never be found. Probably. Jeff the Killer is a creepypasta widely known for its story made in 2011, and even more so the image that accompanies it. Even though Jeff grew in popularity around 2012, that is far from the beginning of Jeff. In 2008, a user that goes by Sasura, and more importantly, Killer Jeff, posts on Newgrounds. I'm a nice guy, along with the image of Jeff. This is the first time the name Jeff the Killer is associated with the image. A series of Jeff the Killer creepypastas will also post on YouTube by the same user. The videos were removed due to copyright, however. This, for a while, was thought to be the origin of the Jeff the Killer image, as Killer Jeff claimed to be its creator not only on Newgrounds, but in a Scare Theater interview as well. The pictures used in the original Jeff the Killer video has become the iconic picture for Jeff. Where did you get that picture? The picture was made using a white latex mask and some big plastic eyes, with a red rubber substance that simulated blinking. There was also a black ring around the eyes, so uncovering the exposed red eyelid. After it was made, two or three pictures were taken and posted. The rest is history. His claims, however, were proven to be lies. Not only was he inconsistent with the story, but a video uploaded to YouTube in 2007 suggested his claims were faulty. This video made people realize that the image is older than previously thought, around 3 years older in fact. The Jeff the Killer image was first uploaded to a Japanese website called Paya on November 16, 2005 by a user named Omegavolt. Everyone is nearly 100% sure that he's the creator of the famous Jeff the Killer image we all know. Unfortunately, he appears to be almost impossible to contact. The translation reads, which one is scarier, with a link to another image. White Powder, the only other image confirmed to be related to the original. The first image of White Powder can be traced to a website called Fireman on a post under the name Terror of Summer Nights. Once the origin of Jeff the Killer was discovered, there was only one more question to answer. Where is the original image? Before the people knew the original image was of Japanese origin, many fake images sprung out of the search, one of the most famous ones being Katie Robinson. This was thought to have been the original image for a while, though this is false in more ways than one. Many details in the image don't line up, and many details in the actual story don't line up, as was confirmed in an interview with the person in the image, who's actually named Heather. The story of the original image goes roughly. A girl on 4chan posts a photo of herself to the website. The people on 4chan bully her for her appearance, which leads to a follow-up post being made by her apparent sister about her death. The person who posted the image in the follow-up would confirm to have stolen the images of Heather. In seeing out an interview was made with Heather in 2019, she's very alive. This image was an easy one to debunk, along with a ton of other images that came along with it. Like this one, which was seriously considered as the potential origin by some people. This was quickly debunked by the person who made it. That image was accompanied by a whole list of either heavily photoshopped or AI generated images that were similar to Jeff. The search strayed away from the true answer before it ever got close, but 
but it didn't get close. A man named Miyamo was interviewed about the origin of the white powder in Jeff the Killer image, as he was the original poster of the image. He claims that in the mid 2005s, a cropped image of an Asian woman appeared on online forums as a meme of sorts. He then made edits to the image to make what is now known as white powder. Miyama says he is no longer in possession of the original image, nor knows where it could be found, though he shares the name of the show he believes contains the image. After extensive digging, nothing that could be the original image was found. There are many other people that have claimed to have seen the original image back in the old days of the internet, but few of them have any memory of where it was. For a bit, the search came to a halt. No important information was coming out, and the search wasn't really progressing. That is until a user named Eat Raw Skin discovered something on a site called Gasobox.com. The image of a woman named Mariko can be found there, and she just might be the original image. Not only does the image nearly perfectly line up, but the story behind the image makes sense. The earliest documented mention of Mariko on the World Wide Web dates back to April 14th, 2004, on a Futaba thread. Images and videos of her were documented on an InfoSeek page operated by her boyfriend, Suza Kamaro, that acted as a diet diary of Mariko attempting to lose weight. Suza Kamaro promoted URLs to her on various websites. The peak of harassment guided towards her was between a three-day period on May 20th to 22nd. Multiple threats on 5CH and BBS Pink referred to her as the net idol who would surpass Sonoko and Turumi. Later on, a consensus was established between members on multiple image boards accusing Suza Kamaro of having an unstable relationship with Mariko due to how he posted his pictures of her. This is also supported by the fact that Suza Kamaro was proficient in using Photoshop. Story aside, so many of her features match with the white powder image, the face shape, the gums, the mole, the same hairline, even the same mouth spot. This image is the closest the search has gone to the truth, to an answer what the original image is. Yet for now, it's still unconfirmed. Despite all that's been found and all the progress the JTK search community has made, the original image is unlikely to be found. Not only is the background a complete mystery so far, but many internet forums from before the first white powder are missing, though this can be blamed on many of the forums not being archived. The original Jeff the Killer image may have just been lost to time. If you want to help out in the search for the image, I will leave a link to the Discord and Reddit below. But for now, the original image will remain a mystery.